Every two seconds, someone in the United States is in need of a blood donation. And one donation can save more than one life. And if you'd like to become a holiday hero, head to Henderson a week from today to give the gift of life. Beth Sweeney with the Red Cross is here to explain the details. Good morning, Beth. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So what's happening a week from today? So we'll be having our Holiday Heroes Blood Drive. This is a drive that we have every year. You can become a hero by mm -hmm. um, donating blood that day. And we really appreciate your partnership mm -hmm. on this to get the word out. You know, Henderson, uh, people that live here in Henderson have always been loyal blood donors. Mm -hmm. But we would like to um, talk to some people that maybe haven't ever donated before. Have you ever considered it? And if you're mm -hmm. looking for a way to give back this holiday season, there's nothing better than saving a life. Mm -hmm. So if someone hasn't given before, are there criteria that say, oh, sorry, you cannot give, you can? Uh, very little <clears throat> criteria. Okay, so if you go to redcrossblood.org, you'll see eligibility requirements there. Okay. There are a few things. Things like some medications people are on that may prevent you from um, giving blood. But if you're 17 years or older and you're relatively healthy, uh, we encourage you to come. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and one donation can save more than one life. Tell us how that works. Sure. So not all patients need a full unit of blood. So if they're able to go to that hospital and, and that can be used for multiple patients. So patients maybe that have been in a car accident, cancer patients, um, you know, a woman, a mother who has experienced a traumatic birth and has had some sure. complications. So that's how it can save more than one life. So where, is this going to, where will this be happening in Henderson? So this is happening at the Presbyterian Church of Henderson. They've been wonderful partners of ours for many years. Uh, it's happening from noon to 6. We encourage you to make an appointment ahead of time. So you just go to redcrossblood.org, type in your zip code there, and you'll see that drive pop up on your screen. Uh, we can take walk-ins sometimes if we're not busy, but we really encourage you to make an appointment ahead of time so you can get right in and get right out. Gotcha. There's a video of Stacy May. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and in, is, do you guys have these in Henderson a lot? We do. Okay. We have uh, Henderson blood drives quite frequently. Thank okay. goodness. They're such <laughs> wonderful supporters of ours. And your blood, of course, goes where it's needed most, which includes all of our area hospitals okay. and then other places across the country. If you download the Red Cross blood app, it will track where your blood donation oh, goes wow. and it will tell wow, you really? where it was used. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool feature. That is really cool. <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. So you're the Red Cross of Southwestern Indiana, but you go into Kentucky too, huh? Yes, we cover 26 <laughs> counties. So most of those are in Indiana. We actually have seven in Illinois and then three in Kentucky. So okay. Union, Henderson, and Webster counties. Gotcha. Uh, but again, blood goes where it is needed most. And if you donate from now until December 8th, you'll get a really cool, two actually really cool pairs of socks. So we are partnering oh. to celebrate Friends 30th anniversary this year, the Friends sitcom. Oh, so we oh, have these okay. really cool socks, one that are, they're covered in turkeys and then the other ones just say friends on them but you're encouraged to donate you get those and then you share one with a friend gotcha is yeah. this a slow time for donations as we head into the winter it months? is it typically is i mean we see uh, people get sick you know bad colds we encourage you not to come in if you're feeling ill we see that kind of thing holiday travel people are busy um so we see donations go down so if you're looking for a way to give back this is the way to do it and blood, once you donate, it's not on that shelf forever. No, it has the shelf life of 42 days, which Ooh. a lot of people don't know. We can't manufacture blood, so we need to constantly uh, replenish that blood supply. We need to collect uh, over 12,000 units a day in this country to be wow. able to keep that blood supply stocked. That's a lot. Yes, it is. And, and part of the statistics you said, every two seconds, someone yes. needs... So in the course of this interview, dozens and dozens of people, I mean, hundreds uh, of people will have needed a blood donation. And probably somebody you know. I mean, you don't think about it very often, but if uh, most of us know somebody who's been impacted by cancer, mm -hmm. um, sickle cell disease, complications, a, a car accident, those types of things. And something, I, I say this everywhere, and I know I sound like a broken record, but about 62% of Americans are eligible to give blood, and only about 3% actually do. So we encourage you to, <laughs> even if you think, oh, I'm not not eligible I'm not on this medication go to redcrossblood.org and check it out come to a blood drive see what it's like uh, we can get you in and out of there in about 45 minutes okay. to an hour all right and our Sydney Davis is going to be live yep. next uh, Monday morning with reports about this yes so, thank yeah. you will. so yeah. much for spreading the word we really appreciate it. Thanks, it all right time for a break here we come back broad forecast